First, you're going to select your slice tool, which is underneath the crop tool here. And basically, you're just going to section off different parts of your image that you would like to link to certain sites. So zoom in a bit here. And I would like to use this whole header area to link to the front page of my website. So I'm going to first click on the top left corner, hold and drag to the bottom right corner of this element. And then you can see how it has this box selected. And then I'm just going to go through and do the same thing. So say maybe I want this little part to link to one page. And then I would like this part to link to a particular article on my website. Same thing here. And then maybe I want this little area to link to a certain category on my website. And same with these. So now for the very bottom, I have some social media icons and you essentially just want to do the same exact thing. Section off each little icon. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go into each one and right click and click edit slice options. Now you can just kind of name your elements. You know, this one maybe I'll call it header. And then you want to put in your the website that you're linking it to. So basically when anybody opens this email, they're going to click on this section and it's going to take them to a certain website. So you actually want to use your entire website, HTTP. And then here for the target, I would like it to open in a new window. So I'm going to do underscore blank. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do that for each of these sections. Okay, so now what you're going to do is change your image size to something slightly smaller so that it will load quicker in email. Go to image, image size, and change your resolution to 72. It's going to be much smaller, but it's a good thing. And so now we're going to save it. So file, export, save for web. And we want it as a PNG 24, transparency and convert to sRGB. And then we're gonna go to this little menu and click edit output settings. And we're just gonna change this to slices and leave all the rest. And then we're just going to save. And we want to ensure that this, the format is HTML and images. And then just go ahead and save. And there you go.